Initial impressions, Mark Davis in this uh, week back from his elbow. It looks like he's. I think it's it's, uh, it's behind us. Uh, we don't even talk about him. I haven't seen him play. I, didn't see, I know he's gonna hit it, and uh, uh, he's fine. He's, Young man, he, he heal fast. You uh, think that he was able to make such a big jump from his rookie year to now? I mean, usually it takes a little time for these guys, right? Uh, it doesn't, doesn't surprise me, man. He had a lot of a lot of. Uh, uh, Last year, he got a lot of experience, had a lot of success, so now his confidence is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, he knows he can play up here. Didn't have that last year going in. Mm-hmm. I think that's one of the, the keys. Once they get confidence and they understand, you know, he's part of this league and he can play in it, and that's what I think we see. How much did that first, whatever, six, seven weeks, him sitting and watching last what, year last help? Last year? Last year help. Oh, him. yeah, oh, yeah. That's what, what we did. We held, we held him back because he wasn't ready. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, in my opinion, you put him out there too quick, they go out there and they get beat up. However, whether it be a corner jam them up or whatever, they lose their confidence. Mm-hmm. And we didn't do that. And I think that was a good thing. Mike T and Coach Tar and all this put our ears together and we, we felt like we would go ahead and train him until we felt like he was ready. And when we let him go, we weaned him and uh, he jumped onto the scene. How much success he's had. Do you have to, you know, curtail that a little bit or you we just say go? Let, we don't let him get big headed. You yeah. know, we, we, we continue to work. There's a lot of things we can get better at. So we continue to work. We, we do the drills. You got to see the drills in, in the routes. You got to see the routes that we work in, in, in the practice, in the game. That's, that's what we, we shoot for. He's obviously can go deep. The, the other stuff you want to see more of? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we, we try to uh, play to their strengths. You know, if that's what his his his, uh, his deal is, that's what we'll do. You know, but he can do the other things. Uh, you, you watch practice, you know, he makes a lot of good catches doing other things. It's just those are the ones you get in the game. So you never know what you're going to get. So you got to run the route to win no matter what you run. He looks like he has that determination now. Did he have it? I mean, it's just he has his focus for it. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. Confidence. You know, when they first come up, they don't have that. Yeah. They in awe, you know. And uh, with the success he had last year, coming into this year, he got that confidence going for him. He know he belongs. So. Hopefully we can keep him grounded. He just keep, continue to improve. Do people, in your experience, lose that confidence, <laughs> even if you gained it like you did well, like down the road? Else, uh, like anything else, you have your ups and downs. Good football player always bounce back. Uh-huh. And that's, that's my model in our room. You know, we don't drop a ball every now and then. Hopefully we don't drop too many. And when you drop one, you got to put that one behind you, you come back and get the next one. If you don't, it snowballs. Mm-hmm. How in the world, I mean, I guess it's a good thing for you guys, mm-hmm. Martavis, Antonio, if you're going to double team one guy, somebody's going to be left over. That's right? a good thing. Yeah, you know that's a good thing. When you got a lot of weapons, uh, it makes it a lot easier. And then the one thing I'm, I'm preaching now is we got to block. Yeah. Because if you got a good running game, it's easy to throw. Trust me. <laughs> what about you've been around game enough, mm-hmm. quarterback wise? Obviously, you see Ben. Yeah. Is there anything you say about him that I mean he's just no? Nah, I don't believe. When I first came here, you know, Big Ben was a real deal because. Yeah. Uh, the one thing, you know, this is just me talking, you know, he doesn't pack the ball, he lets it go. All quarterbacks can't do that. They have to pass before they let it go. He's not that guy. He's a gunslinger. He let it go. What kind of camp do you think he's having? I mean, I'm, obviously you watch with him. I mean, you watch it, you know. What you see is what you get. You know. Does it make your guy's job a little easier, as in receivers? He throws a good ball. He's good with the guys. He works with them. And I think that's a good thing. I've been places where that camaraderie wasn't there. Gets along well with the fellas, and, and uh, that's that's a real good thing because you get you get that, 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 that unity among the group. You can't beat that. One last thing about Wheaton in the slot. How's that work? I know he's missed a little bit with hamstring, but right. bad. How, how's that? Yeah, we well, played in last week. Uh, we put him in there, and uh, he did good. Work. You know, believe it or not, uh, he's not real big, but he's he's feisty, and he gets it done. And that's all we ask.